Hey everybody, it's Lindsay from Outshining Ed and this is a video about what to do when you get stuck in your eating disorder and feel like you cannot make any changes. Um, I've been there. I know that everyone that goes through recovery at some point or another just feels like there are no other options and they've tried everything. So let's talk. Sometimes when you can't motivate, when you can't actually do, it requires a change in our thinking before we put that thinking into action, before we take those steps. So we're going to focus on retraining the mind today. Um, and what I want to go through is a diagram. So bear with me. I'm a chart person. I'm a flow person. Um, and this is adopted from uh, Tony Robbins. And this was something that was taught to me in my recovery, not the way that Tony teaches it. So, potential. We're born with unlimited potential. Um, you know, we're born as these whole complete beings and so capable of problem solving and recovering when things don't go our way. You know, think about a baby learning to walk. She falls down and what does she do? She doesn't say like, I can never walk and just lay there. No, she gets back up and she keeps trying. She doesn't view it as a failure, at least we don't think, um, but it's simply development. Anytime you have a failure or a setback, it's learning, it's development. It's development in this recovery journey, just like it is for a baby learning to walk. So, this potential, when we believe we have unlimited potential, this leads to taking action. We have unlimited potential. We take big, big, big action. We make big moves, right? Well, man, you're going to go for it. My baby right now learning to walk, like she's running before she can even walk. She has no limiting beliefs at this point. So she takes massive, massive action. What happens when you take massive action? Well, you get massive results. And the opposite is also true. You can take little actions and have massive results. That's the thing about actions. They don't have to be huge. You work towards a goal. You accomplish that goal. That's your result. What happens? That informs your beliefs about yourself. So you take that big action. You get a result. And all of a sudden, you create these beliefs about yourself. So what happens in the eating disorder mind? You believe, here we are, that you don't have a lot of potential right now. You don't believe in yourself. So therefore, you don't take a lot of action. You don't get a lot of results. And therefore, that reinforces your belief about yourself saying like, see, told you, told you I couldn't get any results. And what does that do? That goes back up to your potential and reinforms your potential saying, I don't have any potential. I have zero potential, but here's the thing. This is what we start with. We're born with this. It's unlimited, I promise. So what happens in recovery when we take big, big, big action or even small steps and we start to see results? Well, then all of a sudden, we start to believe in this. We start to believe, hey, I can do this. I achieved one goal. I stuck to my meal plan. I went to my therapist appointment. Um, I followed through with that yoga class or the meditation that my therapist uh, suggested that I do. And you see some sort of result for yourself and that informs your beliefs about yourself. And when you start to believe in yourself that it's actually achievable, then that increases your potential. And it's a cycle. More potential, the more action you take, the bigger results, and um, you start to shift your beliefs. So here's what I want to say to you today. You have unlimited potential. You do. You were born that way. Whatever situation you're in right now, your potential is unlimited. So what are you going to do about that? Take action, small, small, small steps to start to realize that potential. The rest will follow. When you start to see results, your beliefs will shift. The results will increase the potential that you have. But it starts with just a little action, a small action every day. Those are the daily disciplines that I talk about in some of the other videos. And maybe you could find them here, 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 here. I'm still learning how to do this. Sending lots of love and healing to you wherever you are. And know that um, 
you were created as just a perfect soul and you could do this. For a situation you're in right now, your potential is unlimited. So what are you going to do about that? Take action, small, small, small steps to start to realize that potential. The rest will follow. When you start to see results, your beliefs will shift. The results will increase the potential that you have. But it starts with just a little action, a small action every day. Those are the daily disciplines that I talk about in some of the other videos. And maybe you could find them here, 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 here. I'm still learning how to do this. Sending lots of love and healing to you wherever you are and know that um, you were created as just a perfect soul and you could do this.